Hi, this is Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the best practices for uploading videos to Facebook. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. One of the first considerations is to create your video in a square format rather than the horizontal format. Now why? Why, why would you want to do this? Well, a lot of people are viewing Facebook on their mobile phones, and you'll notice, if you've ever done it, that the square videos take up a lot more screen real estate than the horizontal videos do. They look great on a mobile phone, and it's just perfect for the Facebook format. You'll notice here that I already have my video, and it's created in a square. Now, how did I do that? Well, let me show you real quick. If you go back to my videos, Create new video, right here under resolution, if you click that, you have an option for Facebook and Instagram. Choose that and you'll see that the width is now 1000 by 1000 pixels. That's a perfect square. Go ahead and click create and there's your square canvas. I'm going to go back to my original video here. First, I want you to be aware of people's short attention spans today. While whiteboard videos are eye-catching and unique, both of which can help with capturing attention, viewers are not going to stick around to watch a hand slowly revealing a scene, one element at a time. You want to get to the point quickly and focus on drawing the most important elements of the scene, not every single background element. A good rule of thumb is to try and get things going within the first three seconds. As you'll see with this default timing here on this video that we're previewing, it's taking forever. Okay, we see an excited guy, we see a window, now we see a desk, and oh, a keyboard, yay! Oh, now a monitor. Hmm, what's, oh, a computer mouse, and now he's gonna draw a pen. Okay. You've lost me, right? Let's get to the important stuff. So what is the important stuff? I think this title here is probably our message. And we certainly don't wanna wait 40 seconds to get to it. Nobody's gonna watch that. So what you need to do is adjust your timing, okay? So let's set some of these background elements to zero. We want them already pre-drawn. There's no way we're gonna sit there for three seconds as he draws the wall in the window the bookshelf which is off scene we can even delete that completely if we'd like okay now we're getting to the nitty-gritty here I've got a rectangle here for my title and then I have the title and the thumbs up now do I want this rectangle to take three seconds to draw no I would like maybe three quarters of a second and then probably the default here is probably fine and then the thumbs up, no, I don't need three seconds. I'd say maybe one second. This will give us this whole whiteboard effect. People will realize that this is a whiteboard video, but it's focusing on the most important thing, the title here. So let's take a quick preview and see what we have so far. And that's eye-catching. We see the scene, we see the guys excited, and it only took three seconds to let us know what's going on, okay? Let's go ahead and extend the scene a few seconds at the end here. Now, it's also important to focus on a single key point. So what do you have to say? Surely you have a lot to say, but that doesn't mean you need to say it all in a single Facebook post. For social media, it's a great idea to focus on one key point per post, okay? Another thing to keep in mind is that a lot of people don't actually listen to the videos on Facebook. So it's smart for you to add subtitles to help them out. That way they get the gist of your message without having to listen to it or disturb others with audio. Doodly includes a handy subtitle tool that makes it super easy to add subtitles to your video. And here's how you do it. You go into scene settings and right here, subtitle. Go ahead and type in your text or copy and paste, which I'm gonna do. You'll see that subtitles are on by default. You can turn them on and off as desired. Let's take a preview and see what happens here. 
and you'll notice the subtitle appears embedded in your video. So this will be really helpful for Facebook. Now, if your sound is crucial and you really want people to listen, you can always add a little reminder to, you know, turn on the sound. So you could do something like that if you'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and export my video and get ready to upload it into Facebook. Okay, I'm now at a Facebook page that I want to add a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to Create Post. I'm gonna choose Photos and Videos. Select my video, choose for upload. And you'll see here it's taking up my nice real estate of my screen. It's square, it's beautiful. First, let's go ahead and give it a description here. This is what your viewers are gonna see and we'll just type something in here. This is a great place to add your hashtags and if you want to tag another page you can do that. Likewise if you have a link that you'd like people to visit you can add your link there as well. Next let's look at publishing options. And here's where you're going to add your descriptive title. And again any hashtags that you'd like to add. If you have an external subtitle file that you'd prefer to use instead of Doodly's automatically generated subtitles, you can do it here. You could add them under this Add Captions section. And then finally, the thumbnail. Thumbnail is the first image that people will see when your video is not playing. So you can accept the default thumbnail or you can change it. You want the suggested one? So here are a few suggestions. We don't have too many, but you can choose them. I'd, I'd probably like the hand in it, so it looks like it's a whiteboard video for sure. You could also upload your own image, or you can choose from the video. So say you don't like the suggested ones and you have a specific frame in mind that you'd, you'd like to use, you can choose from the video. You just kind of tap in here on the different frames. So that might be kind of cool right there. And then once you're satisfied, click Save. If you'd like to add anything else to your post, you can certainly do that by clicking these icons or the More button. Now you can either post it right away or you could schedule it for a time in the future. It does take Facebook a few minutes to do its thing before it'll appear on your page. Now, of course, I scheduled that post, so it probably won't appear. So I also want to show you Creator Studio, where you have some other options. So go ahead and click that and click Content Library. Now you'll see my content is right here and it's scheduled. Now, if I wanted to edit this, I can. Let's go ahead and just click it. And you'll see we have all of the same options that we had when we were creating it as a post. We also have a few others. For example, if you click here on polls, you can create a poll for your video. You can also add some custom labels and tracking information if you'd like. Now, publishing options. Let's say I want to publish it now instead of in the future. I can click the button here and click publish and it'll go live on my page. Do you want to add the video to a playlist or even a series? If you manage other pages, you can also allow other pages to work with this video by clicking the appropriate button. I'm going to go ahead and save mine as a draft and be done with it. And that's the basics of uploading your doodly videos to Facebook. Thanks for watching.